film people here. I gotta do something cool. Like, <laughs> make sure, like, wow, this is like, yeah. I gotta paint something that I'm gonna like, that they're gonna think is cool. And then once I get past that, I'm like, okay, I'm painting. All it takes is for me to just sit down and paint. And once I'm painting, I'm like, oh yeah, this is fun. <laughs> fun ideas. And then, like, oh, I can do this. I'm like, all right. Now we're, now we're flowing. But it's just getting the painting part down. Figuring out what to paint is the hardest part. Yeah. Always. This is the easy stuff. <laughs> okay. Just been very intimidated by having such a blank space. And even though the intention is to like continue to cover it up and paint over it, it's like practice. Uh, this helps me get over like the perfectionism of just like get something on the wall, get more ideas as he as it goes on, but like, nothing's gonna happen if I don't paint anything. So this has been nice to just uh, be able to like, all right, I'm just gonna paint something and then I gotta, I gotta stick with it and keep it going. That's cool. <clears throat> Throughout growing up, always the art kid in class. That's bad. Like a six month long film gig. I was a painter for uh, Apple TV, TV show. Oh. It was, it was awesome mm -hmm. and I learned a lot, but it was really intense and I wasn't doing like my own like this type yeah. of stuff. And so I got really depressed and like it was really stressful right at the end. It was very dramatic. I kind of had like a very dramatic exit, but yeah. I think I told them about it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday I was like, sorry to just kind of like dump on, like dump all this stuff on you guys, but surprise, like here you go. But uh, yeah, it was fun. It feels good to be back in my space and like being able to do my own thing again and like get my own projects back up and running, like planning my own, like I want to do a conference or a mural festival or a music festival or something like that. And so, but at the base of it all, just keeping the murals, um, I've let that get away too many times of like, oh, I'm going to do this crazy thing. And then I'm like, yeah, I started my own business and like I'm a business owner and I'm like art conference and stuff, but I'm just like mountains of paperwork and like, okay, now I have to do like my taxes and like all this stuff. And like, I was having to force myself like time in my schedule, like just free draw, just paint for like an hour. And then that quickly, I was just like, I don't have time. I have like, I have meetings and <laughs> it's like became the very thing that I swore to, you know, never become. But it's a, it's been a crazy journey. And I always feel like I'm just getting started. Like there's always a new phase. It's like a crazy TV show with like seasons. It's like one season ends and then it's like last season on my life. <laughs> just sometimes, you know, I just like need a commercial break every now and then, you know, because it gets pretty wild. Now I'm in a position to where I can reach out to the companies that I want to reach out to. Like let's say uh, Crocs. Like hey Crocs, are you guys, uh, you ever heard of uh, Comic Con? Let me build you a booth at Comic Con and I'll do custom art, I'll paint custom Crocs, that type of stuff. I know how to build this and that. I know how to do, you know, we can get an accountant to like run the booth, like all of that type of stuff. And so when you, I have all these skills that I've learned from these jobs that have sucked. But it's like they, I do those things and they like come in handy. So now I can do my own stuff, but at a higher level because I've learned these skills. I've been around people that are like, oh uh, yeah, Dave, we just bought that movie theater in Florida, three billion, yeah, uh, no sweat, let's go play golf, you know? And like being around that, I'm like, what the heck, bro? Man, there's people out here that are really having these conversations and stuff like, why can't I be that guy? Like I want to be that guy, but with art. And so the only way that you can, I feel like do that is like, I can do the free time, like fun, like express myself, colors and, and that thing. But I also have to be aware of like, I actually have a meeting with my tax lady tomorrow. So as soon as I, I as soon as I leave here, I'm gonna go pick up my daughter, put her to bed. And then the rest of the night, I'm like doing all my taxes from last year, which are a month late. But uh, <laughs> it, 
It wouldn't be any other way, you know? I feel like it's very stressful, but I have to, it's just my path. I try to like keep things organized and keep it, you know, balanced. Uh, but for some reason, I just feel like I don't sabotage myself with, with these things, but it's just like, it comes to a point where I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so many things to do. Should I do this or should I do that? It's like, well, okay, this is kind of more fun and more important. And I have to allow myself to like, I'll do my tax stuff later. I know I'm ad an adult in these things, but I like, it's just really hard for me to not be able to move how I want to move or be flexible, how I need to be flexible. And I still get my work done. I still like, I'm still on top of everything. I'm still somewhat organized, but like when I'm in an environment that's not that way, I really struggle. So I feel like, again, um, doing art, that's like, again, allows me to be flexible with my time, flexible with being able to move how I want to move. Do I want to do this event? Do I want to work with this company? These people like my art. Do I want to do that? Uh, BYU reached out. They want to do a cool film project. That sounds dope. Now we're here, you know? And so uh, I like being able to move how I move. Like growing up, art was always like, <clears throat> especially with teachers and stuff, just like, you're always drawing on your homework or like, don't draw all over my tests, you know, that type of stuff. And I just felt very like constricted. And I feel like that's why I like to do work that's really big. <laughs> just mm. like everybody can see it. Like it's from, you know, it's really fun to be expressive and like move my whole body around and that type of stuff. So. Home life, I have kids, I have a wife, like I'm a dad. That's a whole other section of life that is has its own you know, needs besides all of this, so that definitely keeps the balance uh, in check. But that's definitely an area where I, I feel like I put all my focus in, making sure that like, okay, I can let my art stuff suffer a little bit, I can go a little bit without painting, but like making sure that my kids are okay and like my wife's not, you know, upset. This has been a very stressful journey for her. Uh, just me being like, hey, I'm gonna be a full-time artist. Like, a lot of things that I didn't think about that would be hard for her when like she's out with her friends and stuff. I'm like, oh, like my husband's in like sales and stuff. Like, what does your husband do? Like, well, he's an artist. And I do a lot of different weird stuff. And so I'm like, oh, that's cool. Like, what does he do? And she's like, you know, I don't really know. <laughs> just, he owned an art gallery once and he paints on a movie set sometimes and he builds things. And, uh, and so being able to like uh, help her explain like, okay, Sometimes I do commercial work and like paint murals for companies and like sometimes I do this and that and like But still too sometimes I have jobs where I'm like, oh my gosh I have to call this person back and I have to cancel this thing and then there's some times where I'm like dang I don't have anything in the pipeline for like the next couple of weeks and I have my mortgage due in like five days And it's like I don't like those times, but it helps me think in a different mode of creativity of like I have to figure out something. I don't have time to be like, hmm, I want to make a painting. Should it be blue or should I do green? It's like, all right, I got to make something. And that's when it's like times like that. Where like, I have a sketch that's already pre-baked. Let me just throw it up on the wall, get something going. I'll take pictures of this later and be like, hey guys, I'm back on the, you know, back in the streets. I'm painting murals. Like where are the gyms at that want a mural? Like that type of stuff. Like I feel like even though I, <clears throat> having a job where I'm like getting a steady paycheck every week. There's no, uh, like, there's no question about if I'm going to have a job or not, or like what's going on. It's great. And for some reason I feel like I should really appreciate that and like be happy, but I miss, and I feel like I need the like scrappiness of, or like the, uh, the challenge, <laughs> the challenge of like throwing something together, being able to like, pull something off and like having the trust in myself to know like okay this is a very big task like not only am I like pushing the boundaries of like local art and trying to make a name for myself as an artist but I'm also like supporting the family I gotta you know no other choice but to do it and so like putting that pressure on myself I feel like it's helped me learn a lot but I wouldn't learn the same things that I know now had I done it a safer route and that's just it stinks that it has to be that way but I feel like that's, uh, it make, it keeps my life fun and like interesting. It's kind of weird like trying to figure out why I like to do art. I feel like it changes every like five or 10 years. But uh, I don't know. What, what's the reason you do art right now? 
pay the bills. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I mean, that's partly why, because it is my career, you know, it's my job. And so I do have to be creating stuff, like that is my career. But also, uh, I feel like it's just like what I'm here for, to make cool stuff and like help other people figure out that they can make fun things too. Because so many times I've like done something and somebody's just like, oh my gosh, like, how'd you do that? Or like, I never would have thought to do that. It's like, yeah, you can do whatever you want, bro. Like, we're all really just out here living life. As long as you're not hurting anybody or like, and you're being responsible, just do what you want to do, but do it respectfully. Like, give your, give what you want to do, give it the respect it deserves. Don't just, uh, that's what I feel like. So like, for me, art is really fun and I love to do it, but it would be different if I was just like treating it as a hobby. I'm just like, all right, I just yeah. like to sketch in my time off. But like, now that I'm doing it at this level, it's, uh, I like to push the envelope. And I think that's where, that's why I like to do it. Cause it allows me, it gives me something to like, all right, what can I do that's like, yeah, I could do like an art show and hang some art or I could like do an art show that involves like, I don't know, some acrobatic like aerial stunts. I have these beams, we can hang some stuff and like, I know how to like hang trapeze. Like, okay, cool. Let me reach out to the people that do the circus in town. And like, I, I get adrenaline from like setting up stuff like that. I'm like, okay, let me connect these people on. I know this person who's a DJ and we can build them a DJ booth that spins around. I know this construction crew that can build spinning platforms and like learning all these things. And once I figure it out, I'm like, holy crap, it's just so fun. And I couldn't do that with anything else, I feel like. And, uh, it's fun hanging out with other people that I know that do that same stuff because then it's like, makes me kind of feel like I'm not crazy. Because you can't, you can't tell your ideas to everybody because some people are just like, bro, you want to do what? Hang, <laughs> you want to, that's crazy. What if somebody falls or like, you can't, what, where are people going to, and it's just like, nah, I'm not trying to hear that. We're just trying to have fun. <laughs> but within reason, like, uh, I, I feel like pushing the envelope, but then not being sloppy or like reckless obviously but uh i don't know it's just art kind of is the outlet for me to learn about life figure things out <clears throat> push the envelope help other people uh like i said help other people figure out that they can do stuff too